Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you how to use the uh, PEGA enablement self-study buddy. Normally if you want to know anything about the PEGA help or PEGA topics or PEGA questions you have to set to search from the PDN, pdn.pega.com or support.community.pega.com or support.pega.com. For example, for example, uh, how to, uh, as I mentioned in my previous video, how to uh, decode, how to decode base 64 encoded string in Pega. The moment when you search it, right, uh, usually uh, we have the support.pega.com or, okay, or if you want to learn any Pega topics, this is nothing but a Pega blob or Pega support or Pega for or uh, uh, case types in Pega. For example, I want to know the case types, case type in Pega. Then immediately you have to go to the docs.pega.com, docs.previous.pega.com or uh, next uh, pega.academy.pega.com. So if you want to find out anything related to Pega, Usually we need to search in a Google or somewhere or in the Pega Dev Studio also there is help topics. But Pega has provided the one self-study buddy, call it as a buddy.pega enablement. Buddy.pega enablement.com. You can directly search it uh, Pega enablement uh, buddy. Okay, you will get this URL buddy.pegaenablement.com. Here you have to register. You can register with your personal email ID as well. So then you can start asking whatever the questions you have. For example, here I am asking how to decode uh, decode base 60 encoded encoded string in Pega. How to decode base 64 encoded string in Pega? Just click on ask. Now it is searching and see to decode the base 64 encoded string in Pega, you can use this function. This function takes etc. etc. Detailed example. Now my next question is uh, difference between sub process, sub process uh, and uh, sub case in Pega. Difference between the sub process and sub case in Pega. See, a sub process is a part of larger uh, process, a flow within the case representing etc. So you will get the whatever the questions you have in Pega, just you can use this uh, Pega enablement or self study buddy so that at least you will get. Uh, immediate answer instead of searching to the docs.previous.com etc straightforward question and answers like nothing but a chart but uh, okay and now i am asking one more question i am asking one more question rest soap in pega soap in pega you can go through this how to Call a activity from data transform in Pega. So you can use this Pega rules utility call activity OOTB function to call a date from a D from a data transform. You can call an activity from a data transform in Pega by using this function. So it will give the complete signature as well. What is a function alias in Pega? So you can use this uh, buddy.pegaenablement.com for your self-study buddy. You can post your questions. You can also register with your personal email ID as well. Okay. I hope you understand this. Uh, to to uh, whatever the clarifications you have in Pega, you can post your questions and you can get some answers. And you can take help from the Pega itself by using this buddy. Thank you.